In the last lecture, we understood the process to calculate the equivalent resistance using the symmetry of the network. And now we are going to solve one problem using the concepts we developed in the previous lecture. And according to the problem, we are required to calculate the equivalent resistance between the points A and B. And when you look at the given network, you will find this is point A and this is point B and when you try to calculate the equivalent resistance between A and B by finding out the series and parallel combinations then it won't be possible in this arrangement and also if you look for the equipotential points then they are not directly visible in this arrangement and therefore we will simplify this network using the rules of symmetry and in the problem it is given that the resistance of each side of the smaller square is equal to uppercase R as shown here. This side is having the resistance R. This side is having the resistance R. Similarly all the sides of the smaller squares will have the resistance R and we know we draw the horizontal plane and the vertical plane to find out if the network is symmetrical or not. So let us draw the horizontal plane and we know what is the horizontal plane. It is the plane passing through the two points between which we are required to calculate the equivalent resistance and the actual process is to tilt the network so that the horizontal plane is actually horizontal but we can visualize it and that's why there is no need to waste time in redrawing the network. Now we will find out whether our horizontal plane is the horizontal plane of symmetry or it is simply a horizontal plane and for that we will focus on the upper portion of the network and the lower portion of the network with respect to the horizontal plane and we can see that the upper portion of the network is symmetrical to the lower portion of the network and therefore the plane is horizontal plane of symmetry and we can use the rule when we have horizontal plane of symmetry to simplify this network but I want to find out whether we have the vertical plane of symmetry or not and for that we will draw a vertical plane and we know what is the vertical plane. The vertical plane is the plane which is the perpendicular bisector of the line joining point A and point B. So this plane is the perpendicular bisector of this line and we call it vertical plane. Now when you compare the left hand side of the vertical plane and the right hand side of the vertical plane you will find they are symmetrical. Therefore the vertical plane we are having is vertical plane of symmetry and according to rule number one when we have vertical plane of symmetry all the points on the vertical plane of symmetry will have the same potential. Now let's say this point is point C, this point is point D, this point here is point E and this point here is point F, this point is point G therefore this will be also point G, they will have the same potential and this point will also be point G. Now we will reconstruct our network. This is point A, then we have point D, then we have point C, this is point G, then we have point F, point E and finally we have point B. Now you can see that between A and C we have R resistance 
so we will have one resistor having the value r we are done with this particular side of the smaller square then we have r resistance between a and d so between a and d we will make one resistor having the value r we are done with this one as well after this between c and g we have r resistance between c and g we have r resistance then between d and g we have r resistance d and g we have r resistance after this between c and g again we have r resistance between c and g we have r resistance then between g and d we have r resistance between g point and e point we have r resistance then again between g and d e, we have another r resistance one more resistance between g and d e, having the value r then between d and g we have another r resistance between d and g we have another r resistance following the same process when you complete the network you will find there are two resistors in parallel having the value r between g and f then there is one resistor between f and b having the value r and then one resistor between e and b having the value r now solve it and you will have the equivalent resistance equal to 3 over 2 r so this is our answer now i want to show you how you can solve the same problem with little bit of less calculations when you use the rule number two when we have the vertical plane of symmetry according to rule number two whenever we have the vertical plane of symmetry then the branches which are mirror image about the vertical plane of symmetry have the same current in our network this branch is the mirror image of this branch let's say i1 is the current in this branch then the same current will be there in this branch that is i1 and this branch is the mirror image of this branch let's say i2 is the current in this branch therefore the same current will be there in this branch now observe carefully that current i1 is coming like this and then it is going like this current i2 is coming like this and then going like this so if we open this particular junction if we open this junction and we have the connection like this then also the same situation will be there i1 coming and then it is leaving like this i2 is coming like this and then leaving like this now you know that whenever we have the vertical plane of symmetry we can open the junction which is on the vertical plane of symmetry and after opening the junction we can simplify the network and here we have point a then point b and between point a and this point that is point d we have r resistance then between point a and point c we have r resistance after this between point c and point e two resistors are connected in series having the value r therefore between point c and point e we can have 
a single resistor having the value 2 times R. Similarly, between point D and point F, we have two resistors connected in series. So we will add one single resistor having value 2 times R. Then between point F and point B, we have one resistor having the value R. Between E and B, we have one resistor having the value R. And you can see that between D and F, we have two resistors connected in series having the value R. So between D and F, we have one resistor having the value 2 times R and between C and D again we have two resistors having the value R so we will connect single resistor having the value 2 times R. Now when you simplify this you will get the equivalent resistance is equal to 3 over 2 R and compared to this network solving this network is simple. So I hope now you understand how to use the rules of symmetry to simplify the network and calculate the equivalent resistance. Now I will give you one homework problem and in this homework problem we are having this as the network and you are required to calculate RAB that is the equivalent resistance between point A and point B and each resistance is small r. So all the resistors we are having in this network have the value small r. So try to solve this problem and once you have your answer post it in comment section.